been good, you know. It's been different, getting a lot more reps and stuff, and just competing. And it's, been, it's been fun. I'm glad to be the first team guy. Well, you know, Cleveland set a standard, and, you know, it's tough. Everybody's fighting. They got good guys behind me, and you just got to fight every day. You glad camp's over? Thank yeah, you. I'm glad camp's over. Season. <laughs> Get, oh, yeah. Get ready to play somebody else besides yourselves? Yes. yes what do you think you've made the most improvements? Uh, um, I'll probably say just my pass rush, so just getting stronger, um, defending the run. Um, but i say the biggest improvement is pass rush, working on different moves, and just getting faster. With all the, the, that's been made of losing the, the four starters on the defensive line that, that during the offseason, does that, does that give you all like a, a motivation to check on your shoulder at all? Uh, I say it's a motivation, you know, those guys really set a, a bar, the bar really high and you, know, you just want to be, you want to make sure you don't discipline them and we just want to work hard and you know, you don't want to be like them, we want to be ourselves, but you know, just keep competing and keep the standard the same. How tight has that competition been at the end? Um, competition tight, I mean, it's five of us in there competing every day and it can go either way, I mean, you never know, it might change game to game, so we're just competing every day. Who's the defensive lineman that's going to surprise everybody? Defensive lineman, I'd say Tyler Davis. I think you know he's he's a little undersized from what people say, but you know he gets in there and grinds and he does a good job every day. When you go back to your, your time at Crest playing linebacker, or sometimes hand in the dirt, did you ever think my first start to Clemson would be as a DN? Did you, did you ever foresee that? Um, B kind of told me that he said, you know, I'll be he kept comparing me to Vic Beasley. He was like, you know, you'd be like him, and Vic stood up all the time. And it came off the edge, and then it was kind of like a little setup, so <laughs> give it in. But I like it. Um, I never did think I would be a defensive end. I thought it would always be like outside linebacker, but you know, I like it now. What do you think is your biggest asset? What do you bring to that position that, that, that you know is your biggest strength? I'd probably say just me being just strong and handling the run. Um, I do a really good job handling the run and going in there and taking on double teams and stuff. In the meeting room now, you're the most experienced defensive end in the room. It's like to look at those guys, and they look up to you now for answers when the coach is not around. I was a little weird at first, first, first couple of days of camp where I was leading player-led meetings, but you know, it just helps me learn too, make sure I know the stuff. So I just gotta make sure I stay on top of my game, and I get in there and just try to help them as best I can. As the first game, jitter started. The agreement started for you guys yet, or does it still feel like a long way away? Um. I say it still feels like a long way away. I'll probably say um, starting next week and you know, start getting to you. Coach Sweeney said that Trevor Lawrence has been working on his scrambling a lot in, in, in August camp. How difficult is it to get to him? I know you, you know y'all can't bring him to the ground. But. Uh, Trevor, he's he's quicker than you think he is, and you think you're right there, and he just takes off. But you know, it's it's pretty tough getting to Trevor. And the thing is, you might be right there with him, and he still throws the ball down the field. So you know, it's just it's it's a good competition every day.